Hey you! Are you an Avicii fan and you are going to travel to Stockholm and you want to visit all of the Avicii related places around there? Then you are damn right watching this video because I am going to tell you everywhere to go. Welcome back to another video on my channel. My name is Pam Harry and I have been a huge Avicii fan for years as you can obviously see I guess and today I am really excited to make this video for you guys because I have been to Stockholm last year and I didn't really find a guide online where exactly all of the Avicii related places are so I thought that is the perfect opportunity to make this video for you guys where you have everything in one video. In this video I am going to show you six Avicii related the places around Stockholm and let's not waste any more time let's get straight into the video number one is of course Avicii experience which is an interactive museum of Tim Berkling you can dive into the musical world of Avicii and the musicians producers and songwriters that are part of his career an exclusive chance to discover unpublished music and untold stories you can sing virtual reality karaoke with some of the musicians he have worked with and also you can play on his instruments which I found really cool so I just picked up that guitar and I just had to play without you of course because that was the only song at the time I could play on guitar. The most stunning thing though in my opinion was the virtual reality like room with all the screens and the DJ desk in it. They played levels there from the tribute concert in 2019 and that made me really emotional being there. You can buy your tickets online or as well if you're a music lover like I am and you're also planning on going to the ABBA museum in Stockholm you can also buy a combination ticket which is cheaper and you can visit both museums within 48 hours number two is the Standing Ways Memorial in Humley Garden Park this is a sculpture activated with wind energy the sculpture consists of three metal pylons each topped with uniquely shaped tubes and sheet metal sails designed to catch and spin with the whistling winds they also had an information board standing next to it and it was actually on Swedish but I translated it for you guys of course into English and it has one beautiful quote in there which I want to mention here. It says the wind can also be seen as a metaphor for changing forces we are exposed to in life. I don't know why like that sentence hit me that hard but I just feel like I wanted to mention it at this point. Number three is the Avicii Arena. It is originally known as the Golden Globe Arena. It was also the largest spherical structure in the world until the sphere in Las Vegas took over this job. And in 2021 it was announced that the arena would be renamed the Avicii Arena in honor of the late Swedish DJ. To introduce a new name, the Royal Stockholm Philharmonic Orchestra recorded a performance of the Avicii song For a Better Day with vocals provided by 14-year-old Swedish singer Ella Tiritiello. I hope I pronounced that name right. I'm sorry if I didn't. My Swedish isn't that good. Number four is Sergel's talk. I hope I said that right. I'm so sorry my pronunciation is so bad. This is not really an official place related to Tim, but the day after he has passed away, this whole place was filled with people who wanted to honor him. This literally also is in the middle of the city center and very close to a Vichy experience. And when you travel to Stockholm, I'm 100% sure you will come across this place. And walking there remembering what happened the day after Tim died literally just gave me goosebumps. Number five is a really special place which I have been quite emotional at the time I was there. It is the Hedwig Eleonora Church. In this church the memorial service took place where Klaas Bergling, so Tim's father, also gave a speech and told about Tim's connection to the church because they both lived near it and also had school graduations in there. And the beautiful thing about it is that it also has a memorial outside where you can just go and lay flowers for him. It is just beautiful like how many flowers there are still. You can still notice that he has a lot of fans who really love him. Definitely a place you should take a visit to if you are an Avicii fan traveling to Stockholm. We've already reached the last one which is number six, the Friends Arena in Stockholm. This is also not directly related to Tim but want to mention this anyway because that is where the tribute concert in December 2019 took place. A lot of big artists that Tim had worked with were there 
there like Ali Black, Adam Lambert and Rita Ora for example. If you're an Avicii fan I'm 100% sure you have already seen this concert because it was also live streamed on YouTube but if you haven't yet I would really recommend to watch that. I will link it down below in the description if you want to watch it. And every year when like Tim has passed away or on his birthday you know just a special dates I really like to take a moment and just watch this concert again to remember him. That concert was just amazing and I am still so mad at myself for not going there at the time. I didn't actually know it took place but when I found out later on YouTube I was just really like angry, disappointed, whatever that I haven't been there because that would have been so special. So definitely take a look at that. Also, can we please take a moment to appreciate this beautiful hoodie I made myself? It says Avicii on the front and then on the back it says Berkling. Of course I was wearing this at Avicii Experience. Oh, I love it so much. And those are actually all of the VG related places around Stockholm. I really hope this video was helpful for you if you are planning your trip to Stockholm as an Avicii fan. Give a thumbs up if you liked this video and make sure to hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much for your time and I'd love to see you back in one of my next videos. Bye bye!